one thing to keep in mind when you're filling your nest mates, when you're refilling them once they've gone dry, um, it does help to have multiple nest mates. So use that information to plan out how many you want to install when you're ordering. So here you see the Atom B. So if I was going to refill this, and these will go dry, I, you know, usually it takes several weeks for mine, um, but that's going to vary depending on where you live, the humidity in your uh, house. So when I go to fill mine, and um, I, I'll, I'll put my ants in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to cool them down so they'll slow down, and then that'll, uh, especially if they're stinging or they're really fast, and then you don't have to do that. You know, especially if you have your um, your habitat is is some, such that you can really view with where the ants are if they're not in that specific location. Just go ahead and pull it out, fill it, and put it back, and your ants will never really know the difference too much. Uh, very little airflow disturbance. Uh, they're they're not very large. So and and that's a plus. So it does give your ants somewhere to drink from. So this is an Aphenogaster lamellidens colony and a type two nucleus. So the, what I want to do here is I want to explain more about the nest mates and how they can influence your habitats. So you have two nest mates in this formicarium. And right now they're empty um, on this side. And then on the other side you have, you have one. That means on, on this side you have two on, on the side you're facing here there's a water tower here and a nest mate here on the level above it and you have a water tower here and a nest mate above it as well So how this formicarium has been used so far is I've been keeping the water towers full on the bottom and all the nest mates have been acting as vent, vents on top of ventilation. So that has allowed these ants to keep their trash in these areas here and these are very messy ants this is an aphenogaster species aphenogaster lamellidens so they keep their trash here, right in front of those vents. And that keeps them from molding, prevents them from molding because it's in a drier area of the nest. And that's a good example of what the nest mates can be used for. At first when this colony was smaller, I kept this nest hydrated in all the points I possibly could. So I had each nest mate was filled. The nest mates now, what they do on this side is on the low side right now this is where all the, all the humidity is focused because these water towers are full of water and it constantly evaporating out and some of that evaporation will reach the top areas but not as not as much as the bottom of course because it's they're more local to the water towers and then the vents so in order to do that you take out the plug and then you just insert this and now this is a vent and you can do that on both sides you really don't even need to take it out you just take the plug out So I want to clean this side, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these as vents here and here. 
and I'm going to let these water towers dry out over the course of the next week or two. I'm not going to fill them at all. And then on the other side, I'm going to keep filling this water tower here you see at the in the middle on the bottom and I'm going to keep this nest mate on that side on the same side full of water <laughs> 